What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about how Call of Duty will be staying on PlayStation and this is confirmed by Phil Spencer just a few hours ago. Before I get into all the details, be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course if you enjoy the video hit the like button and if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Of course, we all know about the Activision Blizzard and of course, you know, Microsoft trying to purchase uh, Activision and Blizzard and it's been kind of a long drawn out process. There's been a lot of different things going on, a lot of different speculations of how it was not going to go through and if it did go through, the PlayStation would not have access to Call of Duty anymore. Well, we do know now that the Activision Blizzard and Microsoft acquisition is going to go through but at the same time Phil Spencer did come out with a tweet earlier today he says, we are pleased to announce that Microsoft and PlayStation have signed a binding agreement to keep Call of Duty on PlayStation following the acquisition of Activision Blizzard. We look forward to future where players can globally have more choice to play their favorite games. I'm not really sure what the agreement is. Of course, they didn't go into any grand details about what the agreement was or how they got to this agreement. I'm sure probably in the future we'll find out more or we'll kind of understand it by just what the games are going to be in the future and what platforms they're going to be on. I'm really hoping the agreement, I don't think this is it, but I really hope the agreement is they're going to start putting all games on all platforms, whether you whether you play on PC uh, or console, either Xbox or PlayStation, you can play any game on any platform. That's always how I have wanted games to be. Unfortunately, that's not the case. But I am kind of wondering now if this was a deal reached with Microsoft because we do have some PlayStation games going to PC now that used to not that you and that used to not be an option. So I'm wondering if they have met with some type of agreement and decided, hey, let's put some more of these PlayStation exclusive games on PC and we can go ahead and keep Call of Duty on PlayStation. Maybe that was the deal they went with. Who knows? I'm just kind of speculating what the idea or what kind of ideas that I can think of that they may have discussed. Overall, like I said, I hope in the future we really do see all games on all platforms and you can always you know be able to play no matter what you play on and you always be able to play with your friends because crossplay is getting very popular now um but this is good news if you are a call of duty fan i know over the last several years i used to always play cod i've played every cod that's ever been made over the last several years call of duty games have not been that enjoyable to me so i don't play them quite as much as i did but i still do pick them up and play them from time to time i'm hoping in the future we get a really good call of duty game again but who knows? We'll kind of have to wait and see. I think we all kind of get to that point now where COD comes out every year and it's just kind of what to be, not really what we want. It's just kind of what we expect, I guess, would be the best way to put it. We kind of expect it to be just a copy and paste of what we've seen in years past. And I think that's one thing that has hurt Call of Duty. But I do think PlayStation wanted to keep Call of Duty because it is, they do have a big player base on PlayStation. They have a big play, uh, player base on PC and, of course, on Xbox now. And that is a game that has always been playable on all platforms. And I think that it is right where it should be, still available to everyone on all platforms. And like I said, hopefully all games will be like that in the future. Anyway, leave me a comment with your thoughts, and I'll catch you all next time. Peace.